Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do a styling video based on 90s minimalism. I was in my 20s from 90, I was 20 to 30 in the 90s. So I remember all of these things so much. I remember the scrunched up socks. But another thing I really remember is like the Gwyneth Paltrow, the Carolyn Bassett Kennedy, the very, very minimalist design, even Angelina Jolie. And what we saw is the 80s were so crazy and over the top that the pendulum swung all the way over to very, very minimal. And I have to say the first person I think of is Gwyneth Paltrow with the slip dresses and Kate Moss. Kate Moss is right in there with the slip dresses and the all black. But what she did is what all of us should do. She took that trend and she made it hers. She made it a little bit more rocker chic and edgy. And that's what we should all do. We should take the trends, have fun with them and suit them to our own style. So today's video is in partnership with Walmart. Everything that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna style in the 90s minimalist way. First of all, I had to bring back out this black slip skirt that I showed you in my last Walmart video. If you didn't see it, I'll put it up here. I was recreating Pinterest looks and I had a great time with that. We're gonna do that some more. But I brought this out and I put it with this little top from Scoop. This is from, let's see, Time and True. And I got size small, which is four to six. This is from Scoop, and I also got size small. This top is so good. It's so valuable. This is one of those workhorse pieces. Honestly, I could have kept this top on for the entire video with every pair of jeans, every pair of pants, every skirt, everything, except for I do have a dress in here. I love it. It is not scratchy whatsoever. It is very soft. Let me see what it's made out of for us. 71% rayon, 29 nylon. And it is a bodysuit, the thong style bodysuit, which are my favorites. If they're not, they get too bunchy and they leave lines. So I paired the two of these together with boots, with a pair of sandals that you will see in almost every picture. I chose things that were geared towards the 90s. And in the 90s, a just plain mid-heel black sandal would have been the thing to wear. Loafers, ballet flats, sneakers, boots, combat boots, knee-high boots, all of the things that are popular now. We've really had a lot of the 90s come back and I love it, I'm here for it. Oh, and you'll notice in all of my trying on video and footage, I even did my makeup in more of a 90s minimalist fashion. I did not put on liner, I did not wear lashes, and I just put the tiny, tiniest bit of mascara on. So you'll notice in that footage, I had the 90s makeup on and hair too. So this is just so valuable, so is this. I think that you would love both of these. So many things you can do. Put the blazer over it, put your moto jacket over it, wear this with a t-shirt. Two pieces that would be great in a capsule wardrobe. This next outfit is the same bodysuit because I love it. And these Madden NYC trousers. Now these are the medium. So I would say in my experience from ordering from the Madden NYC line at Walmart is size up. I think these are more of a junior sizing line and I've had to size up. I actually purchased a little dress and a little button up top that I ended up giving to my daughter, Brooke, who was 23 because they were just too small for me and she's much more petite. They're kind of a light fabric. Let me see what these are made of. 96% polyester, 4% spandex. So these are gonna be good year round. I don't know if I'd wear them in the heat of the summer, but they're gonna be perfect for fall, which all of this is geared towards fall. So these trousers would be another capsule wardrobe, basic workhorse piece for your closet. Also fits in with the 90s minimalism. 
I saw a lot of head to toe black, which you know I love. And I did see like even turtlenecks with pants, with socks, with loafers. One big look I think of that I recreated almost immediately right after I saw the movie was Pretty Woman, especially at the end with her jeans and the black blazer and the white t-shirt. I was all about that and I would wear black boots with it. I had some black suede heeled boots that I would wear. So these are just your good everyday wide leg trouser. These are gonna be good with so much, with the vest, with a t-shirt, with a sweater, with a blazer. You know how I feel about wide leg pants and these are good ones. Now I did notice, see how they have the belt loops in the front, but none in the back. I still put a belt on with it because I felt like in the 90s, I always wore a belt, but I think you could go either way. Okay, this next item, I went ahead and looked at what it's made of, 90% cotton, 10% spandex. This is the scoop. I believe it's called the little boy tee or something like that. I will have everything listed below exactly, my sizes and everything. This is a really good tee to have because it's snug fitting it's very, because it has the spandex in it, it lays down really nice against your skin and it will go with a lot of things, but it is form fitting. You do need to wear a nude bra with it. It's a great layering piece, even in the fall and winter because it's so snug. So I paired this with the skirt, loved it. And then I paired it with these jeans that are from Scoop and they have a wide leg. All of the jeans I got are in size four. And I would say Scoop is pretty true to size, if not generous in their sizing. These are your just go-to Princess Diana, Julia Roberts. Who else can I think of that used to wear jeans a lot like this? Even Carolyn Bissett Kennedy just a good pair of jeans. So I took these jeans and this tee and I paired these with the black blazer that I literally have. It's vintage from the 90s. It's the blazer that I got when I wanted to recreate that look from Julia Roberts. So that is what the 90s are about. It's just about simple, 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 clean lines, layering, and then put a little dash of your personality, maybe with shoes or accessories, a lot of just wearing the hair back, very plain. This is not, this is very different than the supermodel look. This is going to be your street style, just very, very simple. Love these, a great pair of just basic, basic jeans. I think that the wash is pretty. They're not straight, they are wide, but they're gonna be very in style right now and very minimal. Another little outfit that I created with this little scoop tee, I saw a picture of Kate Moss with some printed pants. And you know how much I love fancy pants. So I grabbed a pair of my fancy pants that I had in the closet from a few months ago and she had on leopard flats. Well, I don't have any leopard flats yet, but I did have some snakeskin pumps and some leopard pumps. So I tried that on really quick. Of course, the patterns did not match, but I thought it was so cute. So that's another reason that these little fitted tees like this that fit snug to the body and have a nice little sleeve like this, they look good with those types of pants. Even if you don't want them to be printed, even if they're you know, khaki or black, this looks really good with it. To me, it gives a little nod to like Mad Men and I love it. Another thing I really noticed is the moto jacket. The moto jacket was alive and well in the 90s, even during the whole minimal outfit time. So if you're like me and you love your moto jacket, you're gonna be right on trend. I Moto jackets are timeless, they just are. I think sometimes they're, they come in stronger as far as pushing them in the stores, but I never, I never get rid of my moto jackets. Okay, this next pair of wide leg jeans are also from Scoop, size four. These are a little bit darker and they have the raw hem. 
These I like even more than the last ones that I showed you. It just depends on, do you want that little bit of edge? I love the color of these. I love the whiskering. Again, size four, they fit perfectly. And I did pair these with just a simple white tee. It isn't the scoop tee, it was just a simple non-clingy tee because I wanted you to see how that looked because I know the really fitted tee is not gonna be for everyone. Then I noticed how much gray I saw in all of the street style photos. And so I thought, okay, well, let me try to incorporate gray. Another thing I noticed, which surprised me, was a lot of cropped tops and a lot of strapless tops. So I was thinking, what do I have that's gray that I can layer and put with this to give that 90s minimal look? And I had one cashmere gray cropped sweater that I don't know. I don't think it looked that great. I don't think it fits me very well. I think if someone that was smaller up top, it would probably fit beautifully. But I just wanted to show you how those colors, the black and the gray with the denim, it will make you think back to the 90s for sure. It will remind you, it reminds me of outfits I wore. Even in high school, I was pretty much dressing that way with these jeans and stuff like that. These I really, really love. Look how soft these are. And they're just, let's see what they're made of. They feel like they're 100% cotton. No, these are 93% cotton, 7% other fibers. I don't know what the other fibers are, but it makes them soft. And these aren't fitted. A lot of times when you have like skinnier jeans or white jeans, you want them to be rigid and pretty much all 100% cotton. But with these, I think what it does is it helps with that flow. Just really nice. And then we come to the jeans that I have on now. These are just amazing. This is my favorite thing. I love them. They are so unique. They fit so well. They are just me wrapped up in a pair of jeans, especially me in my, I would even say late 80s and 90s all the way up until probably late 90s. I loved a pair of jeans that were pleated in the front. I'll never forget, I was at the mall one time. My whole family, we used to meet at the mall. My granddaddy liked to walk around and just be out there on the weekends. And I remember he bought me a pair of jeans that were pleated in the front. I remember wearing them to football games and stuff like that. So these bring back all those good feels and vibes and I love them. So when I was thinking about how to style them, I noticed that, of course, we're coming right back around to the 90s, the vest. So I picked out my black vest and showed you with that. And then this morning I put on my pink vest to show you that look. And then to go with the gray, and I noticed a lot of the suiting, the pinstripes were popular back then, I put this vest on so you could see. And I think it's just, perfect. I think it's a perfect look for the trousers. Of course, you could put any top with these trousers. Tuck it in. Even a plain white button-up or button-down would look good with these. So many different types of shoes. These are must-haves. These are must-haves. Okay. okay, these are must-haves too. If you like the boot cut. I will say normally I'm not a boot cut lover. I feel like a lot of times my legs aren't long enough, but these are perfect. I paired them with just a simple black cashmere sweater or a simple black sweater and perfect. It reminded me of the 90s Angelina Jolie. She wore a lot of just simple sweaters and simple jeans and she would wear the boot cut with pumps. Really, there's just, that is such a classic, sexy look. You will never go wrong with a sw black sweater, black pair of boot cut jeans and black pumps all day long, every day, at any occasion, you will be set, you will look good. And it's just a go-to, it's something you can keep in your closet and just go to. Now these are the high rise flare. Okay, they're not very flare. I would say, I don't know, maybe they are flare. 
They're not crazy flare though. They're just a little flare. They're almost like a baby flare. That's what I would say. I loved them. I liked these so much more. I've always already got hair on everything because when I set these things down, sassy, I'm gonna take a picture of her. She just looked over here. She lays on everything. Like when I put these down, she'll move over to these. Okay, last but not least, I have a dress for you from Scoop. Must have a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. It's the size small, which is four to six. It is, the weight of it is beautiful. Look how it's a little bit pleated. The beautiful bottom. Oh my goodness, if you are looking for a go-to dress to wear with boots, this is it. So I paired this dress with my cowboy boots. I had someone just ask that last night. Looks beautiful with my black cowboy boots. Then I paired it with some little chic ankle boots. Looked beautiful with the chic ankle boots. Gave you more of that Emily in Paris type look. Then I paired it with my new combat lug boots and it looked great with that. I also paired it with my George blazer that you guys are gonna see on repeat. Oh, so good. Notice how when I scrunched up the sleeves, the beautiful ruffle comes out of the bottom of the sleeve of the blazer. Just, it was one of those things, yesterday was a good day when I was trying all of this on. It was just like every outfit was so good. I felt like everything was so 90s inspired, which is so in right now and so flattering and so easy that it was just, it was a good successful try on day. So this blazer is a must have. It's from the men's section. I did get the medium, which is the 38 to 40, so that it's oversized. With this dress, it is a match made in heaven. Now also with this dress, I tried on my moto over it. Perfect. Imagine those sleeves coming out of your moto jacket. You could probably put a big, I would do a big Levi's like trucker jacket, denim jacket over it would look good. Tights, tall boots, Kate Moss all the way. Kate Moss all the way in this one and Gwyneth Paltrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little outfit inspiration video. Thank you to Walmart for asking me to partner with them. I love these. This is my favorite. I get so excited. So thanks for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.